Now today's video is going to be uh, quite a quick video and I just want to go over uh, some of the wideband antennas that you see advertised on eBay and Banggood. Now here I've got a uh, log periodic antenna that I picked up recently. These are great for testing over on uh, the RF bench and uh, when when you can use these properly you can use them for all sorts of things like testing the gain of other antennas and, and that sort of thing really really nice things to have uh, in your uh, toolkit for uh, experiments now this one is advertised um, claimed as a uh, wideband uh, log periodic antenna that works from 1.35 gigahertz all the way up to 9.5 gigahertz so what I thought we'll do is just quickly pop over to the uh, test bench and have a look at this on the network analyzer and just see how it operates in between those bands because it won't be good for every frequency within those two numbers so here we are with it on the test bench and it's really important to have a uh, coupler coupled up to this antenna that can handle those higher frequencies. This is a small directional coupler but it can go from uh, 1 gigahertz all the way up to uh, 11 gigahertz but uh, you can see it on here on the test bench. Now let's take a look at the output on the network analyzer. So we're scanning from 400 megahertz over here all the way up to 11 gigahertz and you can see how this wave goes up and down all the way across that band you can already see from this output that uh, although this antenna is classed as uh, 1.5 gigahertz uh, I think it is to uh, 9.5 gigahertz uh, it doesn't hit everywhere in that band you haven't got one big continuous dip here uh, it's only good for certain areas within that quite wide band where you can see a dip here, dips again here and here, and then uh, at the end here. There's going to be areas within that band where it's a pretty poor antenna to use for a specific frequency. And uh, if you're wanting to uh, have a, a test antenna like uh, this log periodic here, you would want to purchase a few different ones. And I just wish some of the eBay sellers would uh, list the bands that uh, this particular antenna works in and then uh, you could uh, choose which uh, one you want to buy as appropriate for your application but uh, as you can see it's uh, a little bit of a stretch claiming that uh, this is a wideband antenna and it's good from 1.5 uh, or 1 gigahertz all the way up to uh, 9.5 gigahertz because it's not we've got these peaks here where it's going to be pretty poor especially in this area here so let's move the cursor along now if we move the cursor along you can see it's pretty good around 1 gigahertz there all the way up to uh, say 1.3 gigahertz and then it starts to go pretty poor again and then it dips down again 2.1 gigahertz 2.3 gigahertz and then we have a big big jump all the way up here and then it only starts to come good again at around 4, 4.7 gigahertz there with a dip around about 5 gigahertz. So if you're wanting to use this for testing purposes, then uh, bang on 5 gigahertz. This would be a really nice uh, testing antenna to use in your uh, setup. Let's say if you wanted to use this to test the gain of uh, another antenna under test it'd be really good at that but you can see now we're climbing up see it starts to go bad about 1.3 uh, 5.3 5.4 gigahertz and it climbs up again up into uh, the 6 gigahertz band pretty poor all the way along here we've got a little dip there 7.4 gigahertz but pretty poor until we get down sorry up to about 9.1 gigahertz and then we've got this lovely big dip all the way down here 9.5 gigahertz and then climbing back up again when it gets into the 10 gigahertz so yes it is a wide band, band antenna and it does work from around 1 gigahertz all the way up to 9.5 gigahertz but as you can see it doesn't work in every part of that band now as you saw on the network analyzer although this is called a uh, wide uh, band uh, log periodic antenna it certainly does not hit 
all the frequencies inside that band in fact this particular one if i was interested in uh, 1 gigahertz to 1.4 gigahertz then this would be a good antenna 2.2 gigahertz maybe uh, 5 gigahertz definitely uh, 5 gigahertz to 5.1 gigahertz if you wanted to evaluate uh, a wi-fi antenna in that range then this antenna would be perfect and again for 9.5 gigahertz a really nice antenna but uh, for anything in between those frequencies wouldn't really be that good and this is something you have to consider when you see these antennas that uh, you know it's not hitting everything in between um, this again is a uh, broadband antenna it works from uh, 3 gigahertz does it 3 gigahertz to 6.5 gigahertz but again um, I've tested this but I can't remember exactly but uh, it doesn't hit again all the frequencies in between that band of uh, 3 gigahertz to uh, 6.5 gigahertz uh, in particular at uh, 5.8 gigahertz for FPV this antenna is pretty poor and uh, this is something I do want to evaluate and I do want to make a spiral arm antenna for uh, FPV at 5.8 gigahertz because these are really really nice antennas and they're not used that much uh, in that uh, hobby it seems to all be helicals and things like that but uh, again you know this antenna doesn't hit all those points in between that band just the same way that this doesn't I just wish some of these sellers had list that uh, as a bit extra in the information when selling these now I've gone ahead and I've made a uh, PDF of all the measurements for this particular log periodic antenna and I will amend this sheet as well and put at the top here the frequencies that this particular design works uh, best at I've also done the uh, artwork if you want to etch one of these out as well but uh, you can it's nice to play around with something like this especially I want a full set of these that will cover all the frequencies from say uh, 800 megahertz up to uh, 10 gigahertz and uh, you can achieve that by you know modifying the length um, extending them or reducing the length of the uh, folded dipoles the elements in the log periodic antenna and the uh, distances at where they're spaced apart so you can play around and uh, you know until you get the frequencies that you want and probably if you had uh, maybe uh, nine or ten of these that uh, worked at you know were best the, in the different frequency ranges from uh, would say 1 gigahertz to uh, 10 gigahertz then you'd have a full set of uh, little uh, test log periodic antennas that you can use over on the test bench for testing against other antennas it'd be nice to have a uh, set that covered uh, the majority of the bands there but uh, yeah uh, when you see these for sale doesn't necessarily mean that they work at every frequency between 1 gigahertz up to uh, 9 gigahertz so this was just a uh, quick little video explaining the uh, wideband antennas that you find on eBay and Banggood and how well they work and uh, as I say just something to note it might not work well at the frequency that you're interested in just because they're wideband so I hope you did enjoy the video and if you did please uh, give it a uh, thumbs up comments or questions drop them below and hopefully you'll join me on the next one